Hey everybody, Matt Lasia here with Maple Grove Productions. Welcome, thank you for joining us. An official hello and greetings to you. I hope you're having a good day. As you can see, we're having fun here. It's uh, early April right now, as you can see outside also. There is lots of snow left. Maybe you can't see that. I'll show you that in a moment here. I'm actually going to go out into the woods and I'm going to drag you suckers along. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go for a little walk in the woods here. Got some sap to pick up. It's been a couple of days. No more than two days anymore. We learned our lesson the last time. For <laughs> three days, what can happen? We only had one bucket overflow, but still. Anyway, I digress. Here you see all of our stuff. I want to show you this. But here you can see some of the plants that have done pretty well. This palm is having a hard time. It's not really part of our, our, uh, our little family ecosystem, if you will, but... It is a kind of member of the family. We've had it for a few years now. It's, strugg it's struggling and it has struggled because we left it out uh, during a frost. And of course, palms don't like that. You can see what it did to the, the leaves here. Made them turn brown. I mean, it's still hanging on, but it's not making any new branches anymore. Palm fronds or whatever you want to call those, they're not coming out like they used to. So I don't know if that's a seasonal thing. If it's eventually, if these are just going to turn brown or yellow and fall off. And it's going to grow new ones. I really hope it does because I love this plant. And it's been good to us. It's it's survived considering that it's uh, probably one to favor humid, hot environments. Uh, it's done quite well here in Canada. We've also started... Well, I can't take any credit for any of this. This is all Ange's hard, dedicated work. She never ceases to amaze me with this stuff. How she can just pick it up and just make things happen. See, I'm I get stuck when it comes to planting seeds and seedlings in general um, and seeds and sprouting and all that is what I was trying to say. I get stuck in analysis paralysis. So any of you permies out there, you know what I'm talking about. You, you get stuck kind of just overanalyzing things and then you don't make any progress. So it's always better to just go ahead with it. I mean, without making any major mistakes. And then this ginseng bonsai is doing super well since we put it here. This is one of our only south-facing windows in the whole house. It's very unfortunate. It is the only, it is the only south-facing window, I should specify. So, and does put the the pots here, which I didn't even think of, but yeah, we've got some room there. Might as well use it. And. Um, there is one other one in the garage over there. You can't really see it from here, I don't think. But there is another south-facing window in the garage. And th those are the only two. The way this house was designed, I so wish that the house could be spun 90 degrees this way, and, uh, clockwise. And um, all of our like main windows would be south-facing. That would be so awesome. But, you know, you got to work with what you got. And then this is what we got. But let me show you the other plants and stuff that we have going on couple more house plants here I don't think I've ever covered on the channel. So we've got an orchid there at the top. Not sure what kind it is. Ange would know better than me. And then a couple of violets at the bottom. These are surprisingly doing very well. They need very little light and very little water. So they're super easy maintenance. If you're looking for some easy to take care of plants for like home air filtration and, and whatnot, these are very good candidates in addition to palms and another plant that I'll show you here in a moment. Pretty sure I captured this at some point on the channel. It's going to be hard to see here with the light coming in through the window, but this is an east facing window. So it does get some southern sun, but not very much. However, it's just enough to make these plants grow. So the rosemary just, as you can see, it loves it. Absolutely loves it. Maybe if I stand on the side, there we go. That's better. So the rosemary doing very well, almost reaching the top. And of course, we've got to maximize the space here. I can still hear Leah barking. She is so territorial. We, we recently had her fixed as well, and she's just even more aggro now. But anyway, we definitely need to maximize the space with more hanging plants, more spider plants, more air filtration. We're all about the air filtration. This guy right here, I need to talk about this. This plant here, I don't remember what it's called. I'll put it maybe in the description or in the comments. We've got a serious... Uh, Asian lady beetle problem as well. We have to deal with all these windows are going to need to be changed eventually. But that's a whole other can of beans. But this guy right here, I actually got from a friend of mine. Uh, and all it was, was this stock here. So these things were growing so well, they're, they were out of control at his place. And he had three of them. He wants to stay at three. He kept splitting it. 
and it just kept making more and more and more and, and if you've never seen these before they are house plants they do prefer hot humid environments very sunny but it's doing well here and I thought it was dead I it's been a month maybe a month and a half I let it soak in, in some water for maybe a week week and a half something like that and it did grow roots so I decided to put it in the dirt and see what happens and it survived now the crazy thing with this plant is my friend who I got it from actually had this stem sitting uh, on his countertop for two months. I think he was saying almost three months it sat. No water, no care, no love whatsoever. It had two other branches with leaves coming off of it, but those dried up and fell off, which is normal for this. And then I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it was going to bounce back or not. And then all of a sudden I, I started seeing a little tiny stem and as the stem grew bigger and bigger, it gave me more hope that it's still alive. And sure enough, a, uh, a leaf started to unfurl from that stem. And these leaves get very big. So this guy is still alive and, and is excellent for home air filtration. And if we're lucky enough, this thing will keep getting bigger and bigger. And we'll be able to split it and start spreading it around the house. Kind of like we're doing with our aloe. So the aloe vera is another excellent home air filtration plant and uh, we've split this guy from his mama or her mama um, three times now so this is one of three babies that we're growing it's doing well it's growing very slowly kind of had a hard time at first because it's a, it's a huge shock and there wasn't much of a, a root on it but I decided to just take a chance and rip it off the mama and stick it in the ground and sure enough it's, it's hanging on so it's not drying out or anything you see a little bit of struggle here at the beginning but it's recovering probably needs to be watered yeah getting a little dry but um yeah so that's the plants we have in our almost almost fell down the stairs <laughs> uh, those are the plants we have in our uh, front window at the top up the flight of stairs and this is actually a stand that Angie and I made. We'd been talking about it for a long time. Something that was at the right height for this window. And these are all things that we just had lying around. So she had these four table legs that weren't being used for anything. I found this nice piece of wood outside that we sanded down and then stained. So I mean, this is the epitome of use what you got. I mean, we're lucky enough that my grandfather was a carpenter and a woodsman. So he had a lot of this stuff lying around, but if you don't, you can find this stuff at the lumber yard or garage sales or discount racks at, at your hardware stores. Pick it up, you know, drive a couple nails or screws into it and, and use what you got, you know. So we didn't have a shelf. I could spend easily 40, 50 bucks, 100 bucks on a shelf like this, but why? Why would I when I have the stuff needed to make one? And finally, last but not least, excuse the mess in here. Our house is a disaster right now. Lots of stuff going on, but um, yeah, you can see all of Ange's hard work here. She cleaned up the lavender. We've got two different kinds of lavender that are just rearing to get back outside. Uh, I hope the nice weather comes around here. You can see all the snow that we have still. Ugh! And look at the flooding going on there. It's getting so close to my trees. Thank goodness for the hugel mound that's making kind of a barrier blocking all that water out there. But you can see that one tree right there so close. And another thing is our chicken coop shed over there. I'm so glad we put it on cinder blocks because that would be rotting the floor right now. My goodness, Leah, you are aggro, baby. So yeah, as I was saying, we've got two different kinds of lavender that probably can't wait to get back outside. That was one of them. Here's another one. It looks pretty skinny and bare right now because she cleaned it up. There's the fishies. Pretty sure I've shown them a few times. And uh, there's another one of our aloes that um, this one here, the middle piece, I thought was for sure going to break off, but it's holding on and it stayed green. So this has grown significantly in the last week. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard to say how much exactly, but I'd say a good inch, inch and a half per week is what, it, the, what I'm seeing growing. And in the middle here, this little stem is actually new. So this one as well has taken hold and is doing well. In the middle, if I switch over, there's a lot of cover on the side, so I'll switch to the middle. There's the mama aloe. We've had this this uh, girl here for, for years now. I don't even know how long. 
five years maybe it's it's a very uh, I didn't I didn't think it would be but it's a very rugged very sturdy very durable plant and uh, we've got our grow light here but I don't know that it's really doing anything maybe because it's not a south-facing window we should use it more but to extend our hours a little bit but you can see there I mean aloe's doing fine it's growing new ones in the middle the babies were down here so they were kind of growing here and here and here and I just broke them off and planted them and here's another one there's another baby I'll just spin this pot so you got one down here that's probably gonna flake off yeah that's that's done but the ones in the middle here are doing fine so growing growing nicely and these aloe veras are excellent for air filtration I'm all about the air filtration right now I've got an air purifier but why why run it all the time if you don't have to again use what you got Here's our orange tree. It has had its fair share of ups and downs. Right now it's on an up. It likes the light here. It's doing well. It's, it's very leafy. We haven't had any fruit on it, but uh, maybe this summer, who knows? Usually it takes a few years for those to start coming in, so we'll see how that goes. And now for the pièce de résistance, well, all the other stuff, I should say. Here we have some uh, sprouts, some radish sprouts that I've been munching on here and there. These things grow super fast, so get yourself a little container like this. I really like how she put the um, shells at the bottom here for drainage. Some moist soil. Uh, she comes around and sprays it with the spray can every once in a while. Everything's well identified. These haven't started growing yet. They need a spritz. But we got everything that you're supposed to start in February and March going. Some of these are... They're worrying me a little bit because they're already so big. These beans, bush beans, gold, gold rush. I can't really read that. Kentucky pole bean, royal burgundy. So these beans are growing super fast, as you would expect. And uh, I just hope that the weather gets nice in time for us to plant those guys before they get all tall and wobbly. They're already starting to bend over towards the light, so I come by every once in a while and I spin them. I don't know if that does anything. It probably strengthens the, the stock by doing that, but we'll, we'll probably have to stake them up because, yeah, I don't want to take any chances. Down here, ow, down here we have some uh, lettuce that has started, some leaf lettuce. That too probably needs a good little spin. Got some other stuff back there. I don't think there's anything growing out of there yet. I'm not going to go through all the popsicle sticks, but mostly the stuff that's growing so here's another here's some more that are growing we got radishes we got more radishes <laughs> what do we got here sunflowers broccoli my brassicas i'm i'm worried about again because we may not have a greenhouse in time to save these guys so starting them indoors maybe will help it definitely will help actually but you can see they're falling over on themselves, so we're going to have to stake those up too and support them. And then just to get a shot of this, excuse me, Mr. or Mrs. Orange, um, these guys down here are, I can't read it, but hopefully you can, those are starting to germinate as well. More stuff here. Got some, uh, what is that? Yukon, UQ, Yuknam, I can't read that. <laughs> Orange, I don't know what she's growing here. These are probably peppers. Oh yeah, jalapeno, I see that. Aloha pepper. So the pepper's starting to come in. And I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered most of what I wanted to get here on the video. So those are the updates as far as plants go. And again, we're still early April, so I'm hoping that the timing is right, but we've done our calendar, we've done our seeding, we know what to plant in succession, so hopefully it'll go well this year. So that is pretty much it for today, my friends. Thanks for joining me for a vlog on the inside of the house today. I don't do too many of these. There's some more stuff that we purchased from BMR. We've got some nice uh, golden caps with seals. This is all the stuff, uh, the bottles that we're going to give away for our syrup we're sitting at. 57 cups I think made so far so decent season already we're probably gonna double that uh, a lot of people think that the season still hasn't started and it's it's supposed to um, freeze in the night still and be good plus degree 
weather during the day. It's about 10 degrees C right now. But yeah, these are the, the ones that will be given away this year. So that holds about three quarters of a cup with the nice golden tops sealed up. And uh, all you work people out there, if you're watching, that's what you're going to be getting in the mail if I can figure out how to send that to you without costing me crazy amounts of money and shipping and duties and import, export fees, whatever. I mean, I could tell them it's a gift, but you know how the, you know how the border crossing goes. They they don't want to believe anything, and they want your they want your money. <laughs> so I have to find a way around that if I have to travel to look at that for a visual effect. Anyway, uh, if I have to travel to the States to ship this out to you guys, I will. So that's pretty much what's going on at Maple Grove Farm, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going well with you. If you're doing the maple syrup season, I hope that it's it's treating you well. And you're getting lots of sap, lots of syrup coming in. If you're getting ready for springtime and planting uh, your fruit and veg and your nuts and everything else. Sounds wrong, doesn't it? But yeah, I hope that... Uh, the preparation is going well for you in that regard. Join us again next time where we're going to start picking up the pace a little bit. As you may have noticed, I'm putting out the vlogs now twice a week because they were just coming in too slow. So we're going to pick up the pace. We're going to get out there. We're going to start uh, involving ourselves in more projects, not just maple syrup. As you know, we have a wide variety of interests and projects here at Maple Grove Productions. So stay tuned for that. Again, I will thank you for joining me. Join me again next time for something else that will no doubt be fun and exciting. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care, my friends. Be well. Bye-bye.